Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, it's me, Boy Badger, the one and only. Hi! I am going to a wedding today and I thought I'll just shoot a get ready with me. Honestly, I don't even have time for all the shenanigans. I'm gonna have my fan on because the sun is directly on my body and I'm just, I'm too warm. I wanted to shoot a video in the daylight so you guys can like see exactly what's popping, but I just feel like, one, the way my window is set up, their shadows to the sun is right in front of some trees but nevertheless i'm still gonna do this and you guys you're gonna literally see me moving around my room with the sun because i just want to just i just wanted a bright video but no honestly if you're new to my channel thanks a lot for tuning in if you are a returning subscriber hi i know y'all miss my ass <laughs> Hello, I've made a few changes to my makeup. I just thought I'll just come to you guys and just give you guys an in-depth make in-depth makeup tutorial. I'm doing that because we're gonna be chit-chatting at the same time. Just you know, catching up over the last year and just yeah, just what this year is looking like. First of all, how has everybody been? Like, how is everyone doing? Because honestly, right now I feel like the world is just in a place bully, you cannot afford to have your hands down at any point in this video. Like you need to do your makeup because honestly, I'm running behind schedule. I know everyone else. Is running behind schedule but i just had a lot of like oh admin to do long story short i've just been really busy and my morning i don't know if this lighting is working i just hope the sun just stays i can't even see you guys oh my gosh i just got blinded for a second so i'm using the nars soft matte foundation in the color medium deep yeah so this was actually the foundation that i bought to go to dubai it was meant to be my tanned color because i just didn't think i was i thought i was gonna tan super tan so i already had like a darker darker foundation but it still works as my winter shade as well especially with like how bright i highlight and stuff so yeah i just thought i'll come and just i don't know i just i would have released a vlog by now i believe so this is actually the first time that i'm sitting in front of the camera to talk to you guys do you know what i've actually i shot another video where i was just sitting down you know like a sip and talk but i was just like boring i don't know it wasn't boring it was just very personal and i was just like y'all don't care about me enough to, for me to begin that personal like honestly i just thought it's just not that deep so i'm gonna just kind of shoot the video again just talking about like what last year was like and just honestly like this year guys when i tell you that this year is titled operation change my life i'm not even joking like this year for me this operation changed my life in all avenues last year when i started into the new year i kind of felt like i'm not gonna i literally said i'm not having any new year's resolution and i remember talking to a friend about it she was like oh my god no but like set some goals like oh my gosh like no but like don't be negative like what do you mean i was like it's not about being negative i just felt like it's not that i think this year's gonna be shit i mean it was that i thought like it was gonna be shit but it's like it's not that i think the year's gonna be shit like it's not that oh i have nothing to look forward to it's just that i'm not putting pressure on myself this this year this year being 2022 i was like i feel like i've i'm always going against the grain i'm always trying to make things work i'm always trying to just i'm just always grinding and it's like i'm not saying i'm gonna take my foot off the pedal i'm gonna keep doing what i'm doing but like I'm not like gonna be working towards anything, which of course I did because I'm just bullying. I'm always freaking trying to like work towards, I, feel, I find saying work towards so awkward in my mouth. But yeah, I'm bullying. I'm always trying to pattern something basically in very simple terms. I'm always trying to achieve something. I'm always trying to work towards something. Guess who came back? The sun. I brought it with me. But yeah, um, let me just keep this here so I can see. Yeah, cause I'm sitting here. I don't actually have like a proper, my, my mirror is there, but like, it's just a bit weird yeah so i started 2022 with just look i'm going to let the year do its thing sorry i'm trying to really just sort this out what the hell just stay okay thank you i'm gonna let the year do its thing and then i'm gonna whatever falls into place in 2022 is what i'm gonna use as my build building blocks for 2023 so that's kind of what i did and i found 2022 to be uh, it really didn't end well my, my mental health towards the end of 2022 was really the worst it might have been in a long time like i just feel like i've just i'm just really frustrated I'm, I'm really frustrated like that's how i'm feeling i've entered 2023 with a lot of frustration a lot of feeling like just over it a lot of feeling like like certain like work that i'm putting in just isn't it's just not materializing do you know what i mean and i just feel like yes every year has been better than the last in terms of just like progress in life and just things like that yes every year has been better than the last but like the rate of growth is just not big enough for me it's just it's just it's just too slow like i feel like yeah i'm making progress yeah things are getting better like if someone hears you know what i'm up to and just you know just even just this is where it got personal but I, i'm not going to go into it in this video like i'm saying in the last video i shot like i really went into it but it's like with my journey through life to where i am now and who i am today you know kudos like i'm actually i'm doing really well for myself with all the hurdles i've had to jump over especially finishing university and being here so like over the last four years wow 2020 2019 2021 22 23 damn girl 
over the last four years oh my god oh, i'm getting older i'm actually 25 this year shit but yeah like it's just it's just like over the last four years or three a lot has really happened and i've had to deal with so much and i'm always smiling but that's not how i'm feeling see the sun coming in and out is just so dead where are you going over that that period of time like a lot has happened i've, I've dealt with a lot and it's like <sighs> I've been so focused on dealing with some things that I feel like I've, I've not focused on working on myself. And it's really weird because I feel like I'm always working on myself, but I feel like I'm always thinking about working on myself. And I am working on myself because I'm always getting better and things are improving and you know, but I just feel like I'm not, I'm just, just, I'm just not where I'm meant to be in my life. And guys, I know you all know where this is heading. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. But like this year is really operation changed my life. And one of the biggest contribution factors to like, having like negative I'm, I'm, i need to i need to use a mirror for this bit because i cannot fuck up my eyebrows but yeah like having like negative mental health like yeah just you know being really depressed and just feeling a lot of anger just frustrations i'm telling you guys now like uh, do you know what i don't even know where i want to go with this video because i don't want to talk about the same thing for a long time like i don't want to sit here and rant about how much i hate fucking living in this space i like one thing that i can tell you that i have learned from graduating till now is that oh my gosh the importance of having a positive space just to let you guys know by the way i'm using nars can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade neutral buff in case you're wondering what i'm using um, i often get questions on how i get a bright under eye so i guess i'm going to show you but yeah i don't really have a method of like how i like apply my concealer like for me that doesn't really matter because I'm gonna blend it out anyway. One of the biggest contributing factors is actually living in this space. Living, like, I've, like since I finished uni, like off the back of uni, I've been house sharing. Like I was lodging and then now I'm actually like in a house share, house share. And it's not about the people, like it's about being confined to a room, being confined to a bed. It's literally getting to a point where, and the world is confined because ugh, obviously, yeah, I could just, who's going for a walk 24 hours a day? Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, everything just feels extra hard when you live in a room, like everything, keeping on top of the room keeping on top of the, the neatness keeping on top of just everything like you're getting ready to go out and everything is just everywhere like your brain just i can't function i feel like my life right now doesn't feel fulfilling and it feels a bit purposeless which is just the truth like it's, it's just how i feel it's not it's not the truth as in like sorry it's not what it is but like, that is my truth like, that's how i feel like i feel like nothing makes sense i wake up i go to work i come back home i think i'm gonna eat i prepare what i'm gonna eat I come to this room, I stare at the ceiling, I watch stuff, I use my phone, I'm on FaceTime, I go to bed, I wake up, I think about what I'm gonna I think about what I'm gonna wear to work, I get my clothes out, <laughs> you know, I get go to work, I come back home, I think about what I'm gonna eat, I eat, I watch stuff, I sleep, I wake up, I go to work, I come home, I think about what I'm gonna eat, I eat, I sleep, I'm on this bed, I'm on this bed, I'm on this bed, I'm on this bed. I'm on this bed like that is literally my life right now and then it, it kind of trickles into like just your motivation where like i just don't feel like i don't want to go out i don't want to do things i don't want people to come over i don't want to go to anyone's house i don't want to it's just like a cycle of depression like it's just a cycle of just feeling stuck like i just can't describe it like i physically feel stuck and then i mentally feel stuck because i might have a creative idea and i'm like i physically cannot execute it in here like i just literally can't and it comes back to my creativity because that is the most important thing to me i don't even feel like i'm working really hard on my content because I don't release i'm not consistent i literally drop a video like once every two months which is just like i really try but it's like it's so hard in here so for me when an operation changed my life every change that i'm trying to make is to lead to me getting the fuck out of here my passion for social media and creating content i've always been a creative child like since i was since i could remember i always wanted to be an actress that was always my dream it still is it's just not something that like, I'm, I'm actively pursuing. A little cutscene. Um, a change in my contouring routine is that this Fenty Beauty, which they've actually discontinued. Thank goodness I still have it. Um, it's the Pro Filter Foundation. This is in 400. This was actually my summer shade. I thought I would need this. Where did I think I would need it? I don't remember. But um, wherever I thought I would need it, I didn't need it because I didn't even get to the shade. So I still ended up mixing it. Oh, Malta, that's what I bought this for, Malta. I feel like you guys are thinking, wow, what the fuck? Oh my gosh, this setup, this ain't making sense. I just think I need to give up on the whole sun thing. It is what I use to like bronze my cheeks now. This works for me, like it's not too dark. It's literally just a warmth. So I'm just like stapling that on, do you see? It's just like the slightest. Then when I go in with my Mocha Mami, 
that just bangs differently i need a mirror i can't be winging this the point is i'm getting the fuck out of here this year and that's a fact and i can share it i don't you know me i don't believe in evil eye you know i feel like if god has told me that something is going to be mine me talking about it no one can take that from me so like some people be like oh why are you announcing your goals because what the fuck is you like what did you think you was gonna do with that information <laughs> like do you know what i'm saying the way i'm gonna achieve this is by making i need to build some atomic habits which i'm actually reading right now and i'm enjoying it significantly do you think i should um i'm gonna highlight again just to like really bring out my under eye literally just the tiniest bit i never go in this much with my um concealer i cannot even lie to you guys i started reading a book with atomic habits you know what i was actually so anti self-help like i'm such a there was a point where i was like fuck self-help books like they're just a bunch of shit you're not gonna change your life because reading that book is not gonna make my life better like i was you know when you're just you know when you're not in a mental space to receive something i know you guys are probably hating this fucking shadow over my face aren't you because i'm hating it i know i know you're probably hating it. i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm gonna move i promise i'm gonna move i'm gonna move We'll relocate back to the normal station, guys. This I, I tried. I tried a thing. Do you know what? If my girls aren't ready before me, I'm gonna scream because I've had a day. I've had a day, and I'm a designated driver today. Sorry, I was saying. You know when you're just not in a mental space to receive something. Like I was not in the mental space to receive any, any, any teachings from these self-help books. So the first one I tried to read was Good Vibes, Good Life. I found it a bit like you're saying, "Oh, you're depressed. Just don't be depressed." And it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> do you know what i mean it's just like shut up shut up and shut up like what do you mean just don't be depressed i'm depressed and i don't want to listen to you tell me to just not be depressed but then now that i'm in a different headspace it's like yeah just don't be depressed like get up <laughs> get up like you have to make it happen like but I, fuck that book sorry i i need to read it again when i'm ready to receive it but now i'm reading atomic habits i'm literally on like chapter two just started chapter two and the, my main reason for reading it is because this is me making the active change towards changing my life. I'm telling you guys, like, this year I plan to educate myself. I plan to be more active. I plan to be more creative. I plan to be more consistent. I plan to be more curious. Like, I plan to be more curious. I think that is what this year is all about for me. And the curiosity will just open doors because I'm going to learn new things. This is how I get my really bright under eyes. So I'm using Revolution this revolution concealer that is really on its last legs um it is revolution conceal and define infinite i'm using it in c1 it's the lightest color for me so this is what white girls be using but you know as black girls we can use it too we can use it too i feel like if you're darker than me you can actually still use it like you really can you just need to re-blend like your blending is your best friend which is why i am going to use the brush that i use to blend out my eyebrows if i can find it i genuinely forgot exactly what i was saying i don't remember this is why i don't do get rid of me because i just lose my train of thought i just feel like I, I feel like i'm horrible at them yeah so this year i just plan to be way more intentional like everything about what i'm doing has to be no i'm hot wow everything that i'm doing has to come from a place of intention like i can't be lazy i can't be lazy and i am not a lazy person but i just like last year was no pressure this year is like mad pressure and that's just what it's all about for me i can go on and on but i just can't bother to go on and on but that's just what that year is for me and do i plan to see a therapist this year i think i'm also still not in the mental space to receive that type of help like not that i need help and that's the thing about therapy i feel like we need to debunk the, the thought and the thoughts and so we gotta see when i'm getting a message i need to be fast now i need to speed up my hand i like to use my brush just to you know staple it on i feel like it allows me to like have a bit more control over my blending for my brights under eyes so i just keep that really bright color just in these corners then i might get the beauty blender just to just i don't know i just feel like you still need to go over things with the beauty blender i just keep it there. then i use the excess for my nose just down the bridge just to really bring out just to accentuate my contour y'all see that i'm saying yeah we just need to like debunk that belief that therapy is like if you're really going through it and oh my god you need help no you could be stressed at work and you need therapy like one thing i was saying is like oh my gosh going to a wedding today i feel like i've said this in my vlog but i'm gonna talk about it here like going to a wedding like i'm just deep in just how much i'm getting older like i mean i didn't grow up in a church or anything in it so i don't really not that i don't really I, I swear it's probably my first wedding that i'm attending like that's like okay, i mean i've gone to a wedding like family i've only gone to one i mean it's not even on my like immediate side it's like step family and like it wasn't even like nigerian culture so it's like i don't even count that and i was like eight let's not even count 
things when we're eight years old please i've never gone to a wedding in very simple terms like this is literally my first wedding it's just like oh my gosh i'm getting older like i'm actually growing up like, i'm 25 this year i'm going to a wedding for the second time so the other day obviously i'm in the same gc with my friends from school like that we've been in since we were in school and it's like wow this same group chat was talking about oh my god what uni are we going to like oh my gosh like what did you not pick for like not a level sorry we weren't all close like that you know but oh my gosh like what are we doing for uni like oh my gosh let's meet up for revision after school and my girls were saying to me like bolly we need to know your dream proposal because when your man comes to ask we need to know what to be telling him you know what i'm saying like you know not every guy goes to Friends, but let's say that happened to be the case we need to know and i'm just like oh my gosh look at what we're talking we were talking all about that and we were talking about like a dream wedding dresses and just like rings and we we're sending each other and it's like what the fuck like life is really moving forward i'm seeing people move to other countries i'm seeing people that like, i went to school with like buy houses and just you know just do things and I'm not, I'm not saying it in a way of like oh my gosh what am i doing i'm just saying it's just really putting into perspective we're really getting older like it's not funny it just feels like I need, not that I need to get my shit together, but this is, I'm not even taking it down. This is, this is not even the direction I was trying to take that. But I'm saying it to say like, wow, we're getting older. And one thing that I've definitely said that is very important before getting married, I think couples therapy and therapy individually, I feel like, yeah, it's just really important. That's definitely something that, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's not this year, I'm not ready. It's something that I just have to ensure that I do before I get married. Like, because I just feel like, it's very important to not enter enter a marriage without like just sorting out some things from the past and i say this specifically for men like women too everyone we need it equally but i feel like women yeah we 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 get upset and all our friends come over and we can pour some nice glasses of barefoot pink moscato and cry and talk about the things that's doing us but like men like you don't really i don't know like do they ever get a chance to like really open up because my thing is all human beings are the same and we whether you're male or female whether you're man or woman or whatever you might identify as emotions are emotions i don't think they're selective like it's not like oh like all that whole thing of women are more emotional yeah like hormonally yes we are but men have a lot of pressure on them like a man entering a marriage he might have had a lot of pressure growing up i don't know his dad might not have been around his dad might have been around physically but like not you know present he might be an only child what what does that mean like does he is he naturally predisposed to being selfish this is the same thing for women too like because you know just being like the oldest daughter all that stuff like this there's, there's just little things that you know little things that shape people little little fragments of baggage that they're carrying that they don't realize that they're carrying that you know you it's just i just think you should get therapy for it before you you um get married and i'm not saying you have to know what you need therapy for i'm getting married and i've never done this i just think like i don't know why i'm here i'm just here and that's why the therapist is there you don't have to be like the therapist is there to help you identify any potential problems or areas of development and improvement it's not like oh i've been depressed and i wanted to kill myself so i'm here it's not always it doesn't always have to get there and guys i have missed the step that i keep missing recently do i want uncold makeup i do i want uncold makeup today because it's cold I find that when I do this though, it probably brings out the dry skin on my face, which is literally right here where I'm literally putting the freaking blush up. If I don't do this, did I even wear makeup? It just gives my face color again. Like it just starts to bring out all the different definitions of my face. I forgot what I'm saying guys. Yeah, so I just, for me, that's just what's really important. But it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm actually getting closer to that time. And it's something I start to think about. Like I'm, I've started to think about marriage. Like I've actually started to think about it. Oh my gosh. Like I was that person who you'd ask me this a couple of years ago and it's like, who the fuck is thinking about that? <laughs> Y'all, I just graduated, we had a pandemic. <laughs> no, not even then. I think by then I had known that, okay, like I think I'm with the person I, you know, see your future with or whatever. But now it's like, it's so clear to see and it's not scary. I'm not scared. Like it's not something I'm scared about. I can't lie. I'm actually at a point where I'm kind of ready for the next stage of my life. And maybe it's the dive into adulting that I've experienced since finishing university but i'm i'm ready for the next stage of my life you know what you're saying because you're hoping babe i hope you're watching this <laughs> but like you know conversations have been had and we are definitely on the same page so i'm looking forward to getting to that stage when the time is right which i know when it's gonna be it's in my calendar <laughs> no, i'm joking but like i find myself being in the headspace of thinking about just yeah that next step marriage you know like solidifying things and it's like oh my gosh like having baby oh my god y'all said that shit i said it out loud oh my god but yeah um lashes wise so last night when i went out 
the thing is i'm going probably i'm going out out today i don't want to do small girl lashes let me show you guys the lashes so these are the lashes that i wore out yesterday when i went out I might insert a little clip and they're so nice it was actually very effective but guys it's not that kind of outing i'm gonna do my eyes and stuff off camera basically done with my makeup basically done i just added some pink to my eyes because i'm wearing a pink dress found the perfect lashes there was just like some random set i'm gonna take my retainers out i'm actually wearing retainers if you guys don't know i've started an invisalign journey if you haven't noticed a difference in my teeth like the girl is giving some miles but yeah i'm gonna take my retainers out because i find that when i do my lips it stays it retainers are out teeth are looking so good like i literally started invisalign um like a couple of weeks like a couple of months ago like towards the end of last year like literally the 23rd of december Why is iPhone camera so shit and then Snapchat camera is actually way nicer? Let me increase my brightness so I can see what the hell I'm doing. I look like a goddess. Oh my gosh. And my makeup is done. Everything is done. I've got all my content today. I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm really happy. Um, yeah. So, just to round up, like, honestly... I think what I was saying was that I think I'm ready for the next step of my life. I'm not ready for a baby. If I, I feel like I, I was being a bit misleading. Sometimes I do think about it. I find myself thinking about more. I just find myself really looking forward to that side of things like the future, marriage, just having kids, just buying a house, or even just living with my partner, my husband, not my partner. Just, yeah, just doing all those, those things that, you know, we feel like that's all we're living to achieve anyway do you know what i mean especially as an african babe like as a woman like it feels like that's all you know i can't lie not for me it's actually not my reality that's not the pressure that i'm under from anyone actually but it's just like i'm just speaking universally like as a woman it's like say we're just here to just give birth to kids <laughs> that's another topic but um yeah i'm i'm just looking forward to this year i'm looking forward to seeing the growth i'm looking forward to just making meaningful steps towards reaching my goals and actually becoming the woman that i'm supposed to be because i feel like i'm wearing shoes that aren't mine right now i feel like i'm living a life that's not meant to be mine and i know god has a plan for me and i know that everything is just it's all it's all it's all blending together to make the perfect picture i just need to be patient i need to be prayerful i need to be faithful i need to be disciplined i need to just be proactive and yeah I just need to be intentional and that's what this year is about so i just thought i'll just come and do my makeup i'll just show you guys my my look for the wedding i've got loads of content coming for you guys this year i'm actually gonna try like and i always i'm trying but like i'm i'm gonna try harder to like give you guys more of me and more from me and yeah just i want to try harder for myself to spend more time doing what i love which is this <laughs> i'll wait but yeah um i'm just really looking forward to just what the future holds like i feel like last year I hit certain every year i hit a threshold that i can't fall below and last year's threshold was one that the fact that it's only onwards and upwards from here it's it's gonna be good so i'm looking forward to that you know when like you haven't hit a certain threshold and it's like you still have a long way to go i still have a long way to go i'm nowhere near the life i want to live i'm nowhere near the woman i want to be i'm nowhere near in like my reality right now if someone told me i'll be where i am now i'll be looking at them like what the fuck <laughs> I feel like I'm behind. For the version of myself that I envisioned by now, I feel like I'm behind. But no pressure, but pressure. Yeah. Guys, I'll see you in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat, get ready with me. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I'm not gonna tell you how many likes to give it because I asked for 100 likes in my last clover haul. And maybe I was just being too hopeful. So let me just say 50 likes for this one. And I hope that you guys can resonate with the things I was talking about. Honestly, I really appreciate everybody that's tuned into this video. I appreciate my returning subscribers. Love you guys always. I appreciate the newcomers. I hope you guys are here to stay. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notification bells so that you're aware when I release a video. But thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Mwah.